Oh, hi. You must be Kate. I'm Brian's nurse. He's had a little accident, I'm afraid. Oh, my God. Brian, are you okay? Oh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm just sort of bandaged up right now. You must be Kate's parents. It's so nice to meet you. Well, it's lovely to meet you, too. So what happened? What happened is this one's a hero is what happened. Rescued two children from a burning building. Can you imagine? Not quite in time. They were both horribly burned. They have that sort of creme brulee face going on now. But he saved their lives. Oh, my God, Brian. I know, right? So noble. Plus, he's the only one of my patients to never ask me for handwork. Such a gentleman. Never even tried anything when I'm giving him a sponge bath. And I'm very thorough. I will wash the abdominals. Not all nurses do, but I do. And yes, sometimes I graze it. But you know what? I'm a healthcare professional. It's what I do. It's my work. It's important to me. And this one respects that. And I'm very grateful. Why are you here again? Oh, my God. I am so, so sorry. Uh, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. What's that smell? It smells like wet dog in here. That is the, s the smell of backed up, unreleased genital essence. As I said, he's been an amazing gentleman. Well, I'd like to propose a toast to Brian and Kate. I know, we just met, but you seem like you're really good for our daughter. And risking your life for those kids? You're a good guy, Brian. A really good guy. Wow, thanks. What's that thumping noise? It's your tail. Stop wagging your tail. I can't help it. Do something. Ah! Mm. Uh, oh, damn it. I meant hold it, not cut it off. You weren't specific. I've never done this before. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you both. Uh, what the hell are you... cauterizing your tail. Trust me, I'm a nurse. Uh, Brian? What's going on over there? I think they burned our dinner. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts, Stewie. Here's a little morphine. What the hell? You're not going to stick me with that thing? I don't think that's a real nurse. Just hold still. Pretend you're at the vet. Vet? I hate the vet. There's a dog in here. Yes, okay? There's a dog in here. I'm a dog. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Kate. I, I know you hate dogs, and I I wanted to tell you. I, I really did, but I, I just thought... I, I thought if we got to know each other better first, you'd eventually be able to see past it. <laughs> see? And I, I, just, I really care about you, and I really want this to work, and I, I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you before. Can you ever forgive me? Do you think that you can still be with me? You know what, Brian? I could have gotten over the fact that you're a dog, because I really do care about you, and I feel like we had a connection. But I can't get over the fact that you lied to me. You screwed up, Brian. And now you're gonna have to watch me walk out that door. Well, it sounds like I'm needed outside. Mom, what were all those carpenters doing here today? Putting back our old crappy stairs, Meg. I didn't have a choice. Yay! I love my old stairs! <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to cut Joe down. Joe, what are you doing up there? Enjoying heaven, Bonnie. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. Brian, I know you're upset about what happened with Kate and everything, but I did have one more thought. Yeah, what's that? Well, since Kate is blind, you could probably just do a different voice and go out with her all over again. Hey, are you Kate? Yes. Hey, it's Noah from J-Date. Oh, my God, hi! Hi! <laughs>